If you've ever sat inside a modern car and turned the ignition on, chances are you've witnessed a miniature light show across your dashboard. It starts with a flurry of symbols, some familiar, like the seat belt or low fuel light, and others that look like hieroglyphics. You might have wondered, why does my car have so many warning lights? What used to be a simple machine with just a few key indicators has now evolved into a high-tech system loaded with sensors and symbols. In this video, we're diving deep into why modern cars have such a complex array of dashboard warnings, what they all mean, and how this evolution reflects the incredible transformation of automotive technology. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. To understand why there are so many warning lights today, we need to rewind a few decades. In older vehicles, the dashboard was minimal. You had a speedometer, a fuel gauge, maybe a temperature gauge, and just a few basic indicator lights, like oil pressure, battery charge, and brake warning. These lights were pretty straightforward and usually only came on when something had already gone wrong. Back then, cars were mostly mechanical machines. There were fewer electronic systems to monitor, and most drivers relied on regular maintenance schedules and listening for strange noises rather than trusting the car to tell them what was wrong. But then came the rise of electronics in vehicles, particularly starting in the 1980s and accelerating through the 1990s and 2000s. With the introduction of onboard diagnostics, OBD systems, cars began to incorporate more sensors and computer modules. These systems could monitor everything from engine performance to emissions control. Initially, these were mostly hidden tools for mechanics, accessed via diagnostic scanners. But gradually, automakers began giving drivers more information through warning lights and digital displays. This shift was partly driven by regulations, especially around emissions and safety. For example, laws in many countries require that a car alert the driver to emission system failures through the infamous check engine light. What started as a simple warning system became a bridge between complex computer systems and everyday drivers. Today's cars are essentially computers on wheels. Modern vehicles are equipped with dozens of sensors monitoring every major component and system. The engine, transmission, brakes, tires, steering, battery, lights, and even the windshield wipers are all under surveillance. There are sensors checking fluid levels, tire pressure, engine temperature, oil quality, brake pad wear, and even how much washer fluid you have left. And that's just the mechanical side. On the safety side, your car may have systems for lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, and collision detection. Each of these has its own associated alert or warning symbol. These lights aren't just there to annoy you. They're giving you vital, often real-time information about your car's health and safety features. One of the reasons it can feel overwhelming is because these lights use symbols instead of text. And let's be honest, some of these symbols look more like abstract art than useful indicators. A yellow horseshoe with an exclamation point? That's the tire pressure monitoring system. A steering wheel with an exclamation point? That might be the power steering system warning. And then there's the infamous check engine light, which could mean anything from a loose gas cap to a serious engine malfunction. Automakers use standardized symbols to save space and make them recognizable across different languages and regions but the result is a cryptic interface that often requires a manual or Google to decode. So why do modern cars need all of these lights? The short answer is safety, convenience, and legal compliance. From a safety standpoint, being alerted about low brake fluid or a malfunctioning airbag system before something goes wrong can be life-saving. Warning lights can tell you about a failing alternator before your battery dies 
or about overheating before the engine is damaged. On the convenience side, alerts about low washer fluid, tire pressure, or even reminders for maintenance intervals can help drivers keep their cars in better shape with minimal effort. And from a legal perspective, modern vehicles must comply with a growing number of regulations, especially concerning emissions and safety. These rules often require that drivers be notified promptly about certain malfunctions, and warning lights are the simplest way to meet that requirement. Not all warning lights are created equal, though. Some are just advisories, like a yellow light reminding you to check your tire pressure soon. Others are urgent, like a red oil pressure warning that means you should shut the engine off immediately to avoid damage. Many modern dashboards use color codes to communicate urgency. Green means a system is active or working properly, yellow means caution, and red means immediate action is needed. Learning to understand this color coding can help you know when to keep driving and when to pull over and call for help. Of course, there are downsides. For many drivers, the sheer number of warning lights creates confusion or even anxiety. False alarms can also happen, especially with sensitive sensors or glitchy software. And when that dreaded check engine light comes on, it's not always clear whether it's safe to drive or not. Some people even start ignoring these lights altogether, a dangerous habit. This is why automakers are now working on more intuitive systems, like combining warning lights with touchscreens that display more detailed messages, or even integrating voice assistants to explain the issue in plain language. Looking ahead, the evolution of warning lights is likely to continue. As electric vehicles become more common, we'll see new types of indicators for things like battery health, charging status, and range anxiety. Some automakers are also experimenting with augmented reality displays or heads-up displays that project warnings directly onto the windshield. The goal is to make this information more accessible, less overwhelming, and ultimately safer for drivers. So while it might seem like your dashboard is overloaded today, it's actually a reflection of just how advanced, intelligent, and safety conscious modern vehicles have become. So the next time you turn on your car and see that forest of blinking lights, remember, it's not your car trying to stress you out. It's your vehicle's way of communicating, keeping you safe, informed, and on the road. The dashboard has come a long way from the simple speedometer of the past. And as cars continue to evolve, so too will the ways they talk to us. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.